so uh, thinking about the um, um, the program that we have here at Northeastern consists out of different um, mm, areas. So um, there are, there's a core program or a core set of courses. Uh, and we have three concentrations um, and then we um, mm, add to those concentrations of course elective uh, courses that you can choose from um, and um, at the end, uh, we will have an experiential learning uh, together with a capstone. So let me let me talk a little bit more about the uh, the, um, the the core courses and, and then the concentrations. So um, in the core courses, we introduce into analytics. Mm, uh, what is it for? How is it applied? Um, how does it make a difference in in today's world? Mm. We talk about math statistics. Um, we teach. Um, uh, intermediate analytics and enterprise analytics uh, um, uh, and then um, uh, have um, a, a very solid and, and deep um, introduction to data visualization and communication. All of that applies to all the three concentrations that follow there um, and uh, those are statistical modeling, uh, so which goes uh, more in the area of um, let's say data science, right? So where we talk about predictive analytics, we talk about data mining um, and so forth. Um, in the um, uh, evidence-based uh, analytics, we, we focus a lot around uh, building an organization, uh, so like stakeholder management. Uh, we talk about business partnerships uh, and so forth. And, and last but not least, uh, we have our third concentration, which is informational design. And here uh, we have uh, the focus on uh, next to data mining again on data warehousing mm -hmm. and, um, and data lakes and uh, how to um, how to apply SQL non SQL in, in those kind of areas. So that is like the the, the heart of the whole program. Um, uh, uh, depending on where you like to go, um, you can choose electives from the other programs. So for example, if you choose evidence based analytics. You can choose electives from one of two other concentrations, or you can choose electives that we suggest around leadership, uh, around communication, project management, and so forth. And you finalize uh, that with um, exponential learning uh, in the in the program, a dedicated course about experiential learning, and then a capstone. But I, I know, Alisa, you um, you also. Um, used um, experiential learning in one of your courses around data visualization. One was very experiential learning because we actually got our domain expert with us. So we had a, a video conference with him twice, right? The first is like asking him questions about what he wanted to see and then... You, you mean like a, a representative of a, of a sponsor of a company, right? Yes, the sponsor company mm -hmm. with the domain expert mm -hmm. or the data owner, we can call it, or the business partner, right? right. We can call yeah. it in several different yeah. ways. I mean, we got the data set, the students started to explore, they generate questions that they wanted to interact now with their business partner to know more and mm -hmm see if they're in the right track. So then we have a video conference with the sponsor in class, they spend an hour talking, and then they go back and they, you know, refine the research question, they create the dashboard, they create the project, and then present it to the sponsor. Again, a video conference, because here we're dealing with, you know, companies that are in different states, in different areas, is very broad. Um, and there was amazing how much they, they got away mm -hmm. from the process. I mean, they really enjoy the interaction and they give them some experience on how to approach the business partner and how to ask questions, right? And, and again, there was also the bond. Mm -hmm. um, in one other course, I had also a real world data, but I did not bring the domain expert to the table. I didn't think about it. Next time I run that, I can mm -hmm. actually do because I mean, as long as he wanted to, to sure. be part of it, but he yeah. might. Um, but it is a very interesting, it's a very good experience for the student to do that. They yeah. all, I mean, I could see the difference on having their interaction with the domain expert and not having it in what they produce. I think even they got more motivated as well.
for the final for the final project. Is that fair to say that the program also kind of builds up the communication, the human side of the data analytics? So we are not really just showing you and, and giving the tools for the geek kind of. Mm -hmm. I mean, the data analytic can be a geek and he might need to be a little bit of a geek, but that's no. not all. No, certainly not. No, no, no. Uh, so they are next to the data um, that, that we are using, next to the technology that we talked about. Um, you may call it human literacy. Uh, and um, that goes back to the competencies, right? Uh, so and the competencies are certainly around communication, they are around leadership, uh, project management, uh, and uh, business analytics agility. And, and that element, um, uh, that, that of the human literacy in analytics, um, uh, makes, based on my experience, our experience, mm. a real difference uh, in, in the world. If you, if you look into uh, job profiles, for analysts, uh, the requirements uh, that are out there for, for an analyst. Of course, you have uh, the programs, uh, the scripting languages. Of course, you have uh, 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 an understanding of data and databases, right? Hadoop and whatever new technologies are out there. But increasingly, you see uh, um, uh, attributes like communication, like interaction, being a partner, right? being a problem solver, right? Those are requirements that are out there. Uh, and we here at Northeastern try to foster that right. Right? By, by bringing those kind of, of um, mm, real world experiences in the, into the classroom. And I, I, I read uh, many testimonies uh, for, for the data visualization, the, course that, the courses that, that you oversee and the testimonials of the students are just uh, incredible. So what they got uh, out of that and uh, how that uh, broadened their perspective of that, what analytics is really. Important. Yeah, I mean, it's important to be able to explain what you're seeing in the data. You have Definitely. to explain the trend. You have to explain whatever statistical test you run to show a point, to make a point, right? So there is a leap there. It's not just look at the data, explore, and here's the data now. You have to also explain that result. That's right. And that's a very important learning um, right. curve. And that I see my students, I have seen several of them, how they can do well the exploratory analysis, keep the question, do the dashboard. But the next level to explain that, it needs some practice. It needs some training, some thinking about, and even, you know, give an example and working with them to get to that next level. That's right. And that it, it really happened. And that is just like the beginning because most of the courses, they are going to be doing the same thing.